We've all seen the pros winning the major marathons, but how much difference do these shoes actually make to normal runners? If you're considering in investing in a carbon plate or just actually just want to see how much difference they make, then keep watching as we carry out a relatively scientific experiment. We've gathered two runners from our community along with Tom and they're going to run two 5Ks over the next couple of weeks. First up, they're going to do a 5K in non-carbon shoes. And then a week later, they'll do another 5K. Same location, same route, but this time they'll have carbon plates on their feet. Comment below right now, how much faster do you reckon they'll be? Now let's meet the runners. So we've got three really different types of runner here. We've got Harvey, you know, he packs in well, he plans for every race. He's fast, he's slick, he's out there. We've got Gemma, PT, she delivers every single stride, is relatively equal length, so you know what you're gonna get with her. And then you've got Tom, who doesn't know what day it is. Okay, 5K, normal trainers, go, go, go! Yeah. Wow, so what's your experience of 5K then? Oh, well, I guess like lots of people, lots of park runs. I didn't pick up on park runs straight away, but yeah. once I got into it, I think it was the community of park runs. But then I got keen and I started to get more competitive with myself with the 5Ks after that. First kilometre, I think, just kind of find your rhythm a little bit. I think it feels a bit too easy. So kind of, I think, yeah, a lot of people, I think, go out a little bit quick and then kind of it's hard to hold on to that. But then one of my friends said something to me which sort of changed my mind about it. He said, if you want to do a quick 5K, you have to start fast. Mm. And so now I start fast, and a little bit of me is just, well, I start fast and I'll hang on as best as I can until I get to the end. Have you got tactics when it comes to a 5K, when it comes to, you know, how you start and how you finish? I mean, if anyone's seen me running on the running channel, my tactics are uh, start, That's good. run, yeah. and then try and finish. <laughs> What's your experience of running with carbon plated shoes? Well, I've been really tempted. I've got lots of friends who've shelled out on them and it, it's a lot of money to be worth it. Punchy. So I've never been completely certain about whether mm. it was worth investing in them or not. I've tried them in a, like in a sports shop. So I've only okay. kind of, I haven't left the store. So yeah. I've walked around in them and kind of jogged around the shop trying not to look like an idiot, but found them really hard to actually like get, get my foot in them. I don't know if that's like a common yeah. thing. They felt just hard to get on. But then once they was in, they felt okay. But for me, the price tag is a big kind of turn off. I recently have worn them in my first marathon, Yeah. Um, but I haven't ever raced a 5K in a pair of carbon plate shoes, um, and my current PB is not in a pair of carbon plate shoes. If you made dramatic gains in this scientific trial, would you buy them? Yeah, I think so. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, why wouldn't you? If it, if it took off, it shaved off a big amount, yeah. What's think, a big amount? Oh, for me, like, minute, two minutes. I guess I think they're going to give me a gain. I, if I was sceptical, it would be how much of a gain. Because if it's a marginal gain, I'm not sure it's worth it. But if I go, wow, then it would definitely be worth it. I've run in carbon plates quite a bit. I do know the difference it does make. And I'm excited to see how that could affect my 5K. You don't look uh, like you're going anywhere, uh, but you're, you know, traveling. Thank you. It feels like I'm going somewhere. Yeah. Well, sometimes. Yeah, good, a bit yeah. tough. Felt normal? Yeah, felt the last strong. bit. Yeah, the last bit was a bit tricky, but yeah. Shoes felt good? Yeah, shoes felt good, quite comfy, used to these. Yeah, good run. He looks, he looks a bit pale. You okay? <sighs> Hello, guys. Oh. You look a bit pale. Hard day in the office, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> So there we have it, our runners smashed it. Signed, sealed, delivered. Let's check out their times. Gemma. 24.59. Harvey. 20.36. Tom. 29.36. So they've all done it this week. They've now got one week to recover. Well, we're gonna do it again. Same place, same time, roughly the same conditions, except next week, carbon-plated shoes. <laughs> Okay, new week and a shoe change. Our runners are in the KD900X from Kip Run. How a carbon plate works is they propel your foot forward with every stride, giving you more energy as you run. Now we see elites wearing carbon plates every week, but what we're trying to find out is do they make any difference to the average runner? Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, go! The propulsion of the shoes when you first launch 
Yeah. That's what it is, it's good, you know, you feel it straight away. Definitely good balance, didn't, didn't feel kind of laboured at all, felt quite easy to run. Um, in terms of pacing, I tried to go out quite hard and then just kind of hang on to it. So yeah, the shoes definitely helped with that. Tell me what your tactics were. As last week, mate, just run fast and try not to die. How did the shoes feel? The shoes felt great, yeah, and they're really comfortable and there wasn't much slip, like my foot felt really like secured in the actual shoe. Um, kind of the bounce um, off the floor was nice as well, was uh, nice and grippy. No, not the slightest, no, no. I mean, you know, there's a few leaves, it's a little bit damp on the, on the path here. No, no instability at all. Like when you needed it, it was there, but when you just wanted to like ease off a bit, it didn't like change my running dynamic or anything like that, it's quite stable. I think they were more consistent. I thought I might get a burst of speed or power yeah. at certain times, I don't know, running into corners quickly or starting off or finishing, but actually it was much more consistent than I expected. Yeah, I think compared to other trainers, um, sometimes it's quite obvious that there's something in the shoe. This kind of was very, it just felt like a normal shoe, very comfortable to wear, but it definitely had that kind of bounce and that spring to help in your step. In those hard bits where you know your pace is starting to drop, you can feel the shoes doing something for you at the same time. You can feel it in the soles, so it's hard to explain. We're going, we're going. Beat it. You beat it? Yeah. 20, 21. Done. Time? 23.47. That's uh, over a minute off. I told you we were talking minutes. <laughs> Okay, mate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 29, 29, 09. The confidence that they like gave me was, I think, the main thing overall. Like, I felt quicker. Is that a placebo? I don't know. But I don't know. The carbon plate felt made me feel like I could run quicker, but without exerting any energy, extra energy. Like, I felt like I was running the same, and I looked down on my watch, and I'd be like, oh, that's not a surprise. Do you think you're running putting the same amount of effort in? When you look down at your watch, you're running quicker. I think the carbon plate is working, yeah. Okay, the score's on the board then. Final numbers, please, Tom. First week, week one, 29.36. Yeah. Week two, 29.09. Week one was 24.59, and week two was 23.48. Last week, 20.36. This week, 2021. Wow, well done to all our runners. And if you want to win a pair of KD900X trainers, then you're in luck. We're going to give a pair away. And all you've got to do is hit subscribe, like the video, and write in the comments what distance you'd use the carbon plated trainers for. And we will pick one of the comments to win a pair. And next, you've got to check out what happens when we give runners 30 days to get faster over 5K. You might think it's simple, but it's mind-blowing.